Billie Holloway's family is back in court 18 years after the American teen vanished in Aruba. The prime suspect, Joran Vandersloot, pleaded not guilty to financial crimes against the family. Fox's Caroline Elliott joins us live now from the courthouse in Birmingham, Alabama. Caroline, it was an emotional day in court for the family. Tom, very emotional and a long time coming for this family. We know Natalie Holloway's family to this day is still fighting for answers on what happened to their daughter. And today in court could be the beginning of some closure for this family. Now, earlier in court, it started with Joran Vandersloot walking into the courtroom with a smile on his face. Minutes later, Vandersloot pleaded not guilty to wire fraud and extortion charges. Now, the charges are connected to a 2010 federal indictment claiming Vandersloot promised the Holloway family information on the location of Natalie's remains. After Natalie's mother paid him 25 grand, American prosecutors say Vandersloot lied to the family. Today, Magistrate Judge Gray Borden told Vandersloot he would only accept a not guilty plea in this case. A conviction would bring closure, justice, as close as we can uh, obtain closure in a matter like this uh, tragic uh, outcome, but just to have uh, him serve if, if maximum it would be 40 years here, that would be, you know, some re resemblance of closure. We also saw some of Natalie's friends that were with her in Aruba at the time she disappeared, walking out of court this afternoon in tears. We also know Vandersloot will stay in the United States until the remainder of this trial. In Birmingham, Alabama, Caroline Elliott, Fox 5 News. Uh, this case bringing back so many difficult memories from what happened in Aruba so many years ago. Caroline, thanks.